Alright, hey everyone, we're back again with another video. Um, today what we're going to be doing is fixing up our little, I guess, decorative uh, plants, live plants, in these two vases that I showed you in the last video. And as I mentioned before, you guys, if you can try and do this outside, look at this nice, clean sink that's about to get ruined, but don't worry, we will clean it right back up. It's You can see your reflection, look at that. All right, let's put these stuff in here. First step, what we wanna do is make sure to rinse these out. Nice and clean, we have a little strainer thing here, basically cleaned up um because we don't want these bad boys falling down the drain and club clogging up the uh garbage disposal so let's start with the green one for this you guys i'm gonna use some hot water Let's not forget our gloves this time, you guys. Some all-purpose gloves. We got this from Wally World. <laughs> you can grab an old sponge, you guys. Notice, you guys, I'm not adding any soap to the sponge. Because I'm pretty sure soap is not good for plant consumption. So look at that. Let's turn off the water. Not be too wasteful here. Look at that. Phenomenally green. Not green. It's not green anymore. It's all clear and clean. Alright, and let's see if we can salvage this, uh green stuff. If not, I suppose the green, green doesn't hurt anyone, right? I have to say, these are some pretty good gloves to be handling um, all this like hard stuff. So that's all basically clean. You guys can see there's still green stuff there. Um, but I'm sure it won't kill the plant. Or kill anyone for that. And that's a... Alright, this guy is a bit easier to clean because as you can see there's no green stuff there. Algae, I don't know what you want to call it. But no green stuff there. So I'm not going to try it too hard. So this you guys... I'm using hot water. Nice and hot, hot water. Alright, I'm going to leave that a little bit of uh, tilted for artistic flair. And what I went ahead and did, you guys, we, uh, I guess the word is pruned. We went ahead and pruned a bit off of that, our mother plant, I guess. And what we really did, I don't know if you can see it right there, you guys, went ahead and cut it at an angle. Cut it at an angle, as you can see. I think this guy is the only one we didn't really cut at an angle. Ooh, this is kind of hardcore looking. Either way, I think it will be fine. Because you see this right here, you guys? 
Let's go ahead and put that right there in focus. Yeah, you see that little thing right there, you guys? What we're going to go ahead and do, that's going to be where the root comes from, that brown spot right there. So we should be good either way. All right, and because we're going to be put it, putting it in a vase, I gave it a little bit of length to be able to sit in there and many opportunities for it to grow some roots so that we can go ahead and pot these later if we want to do that. So let's see, this one I'm going to use just one for this guy right here, and then for the bigger vase, I'm going to go ahead and use these guys right here. Don't know how pretty this one will grow to be, but there's one leaf, so there's one leaf right there, so I guess it has a little bit of life to it, either way. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the one that's tilted for artistic flair. Look at that. All I'm going to do is go ahead and stick it in there. You guys, I mean, unless you are some, what is it, like interior designer, I mean, it shouldn't matter it's going into your room of course you want it to look nice but all I'm trying to say is no need to be too concerned about the presentation all right so look at that clean simple I got a leaf stuck down there so from what I've noticed ooh, <laughs> from what I've noticed growing these plants um, you don't want to have a leaf or any um, foliage, I guess is the word, um, down in the vase submerged with water because that may cause rotting. Um, so either what you can do is just keep that leaf down there. Um, so what you can do is you can leave the foliage right there and just fill it up to like half filled. Now you're not going to get as much roots coming up from these other guys in there. But, I mean, at least you won't have to worry about that poor little guy. What I think I'm going to do, since this one has a bit to it, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and pluck it off. And just to get rid of it so we don't have any rotting of any sort. Ah! It's a bit more difficult than it looks. Ta-da! And then, let's put a little tilt in for artistic flair again. And usually just fill it up with cold water. Just wait for that to get cold. There we go. You guys can really do this however you like. I do like to leave it like that. You see how it is? Just a little bit of water, but the rocks exposed to the air. This little guy right here can start sprouting a root. This guy will definitely start sprouting a root. And put that off to the side. And with this one, it's the single one. Very clean. Uh, people like to call it minimalistic. Very clean. Right? So what we're going to go ahead and do is... <laughs> add our green rocks to it. <laughs> Just be careful not to get it down the drain, you guys. Especially if you have a garbage disposal. Actually, you really just don't want to get this stuck down the drain at all. completely abandoned, um, completely abandoned gloves, you guys. Alright. So a little bit more to go. Some rocks fell out back here. I'm just gonna rinse it off. And 
And there we go. We have a little plant. Look at that, you guys. It looks so cute. And again, you gotta get the tilt in. Look at that. Tilt in for artistic flair. I'm so artsy. Well, and then just add some water. There we go. As I said, you can fill it all the way if you want. I personally like it half filled. It just gives it a clean look. And you guys, if you're gonna do it half filled like this, it's gonna suck up a lot of. It's gonna. It's gonna drink this like it's water because it is. <laughs> but you want to make sure you're refilling it um, as frequently as you can. And what I also like about these plants is you could you could throw it in a basement. You could really throw it in a basement, and this thing will live. I'll actually show you one that, um, as a treat, I'm going to actually show you guys one that's been left in the basement. Poor thing. Guys, so I'm in the basement. I just wanted to show you this poor little thing that was abandoned. I actually recently filled it up with water. It was actually down to, like, right. It was actually down to, like, right here with the water level. And I don't know if you can tell, but, like, this root... It kind of looks like it was drying up. So you can look at that one, right? And compare it to this one right here. You see how like healthy it looks? This one was definitely out of water for a little while. Poor thing. You even got like, I didn't even try, <laughs> try you guys. I just dumped some water in there. You even got stuff just floating around. But yeah, this, uh, this little guy, he's been doing all right. Don't know how that happened. Um... But yeah, look at this thing. He's dead. But yeah, he's doing all right. And look, oh, poor thing. This is new. This is a brand, a baby leaf. And it's already, oh. Anyway, it's, uh, it's trying to keep our basement healthy, I guess. And you know what? Let me turn off the light right here to see, give you guys an idea of how much light it actually gets a day. All the light it's getting is from that little hole right there. And that's not even, like, direct light, you guys. Poor thing.